He saw the only thing that can remove a spirit from a body. Number one is power by the mention of a name that can tell it that I know you are here illegally. And because I am sure that you are not supposed to be here, live in the name of Jesus. The spirit will live. The Bible says these signs will follow them that believe. In my name, they will cast out devils. They don't belong in you. So if you ask them to go out, they will go out. They will begin to stay in arid regions. The Bible calls it torment for them. Now when a demon leaves a body by power, that is the administration of the mercy of God over a vessel. Number two way a demon can leave a body is by death. Once the host dies, the demon has a legal ground to officially, because his purpose for a body is not complete until it has led his host to die. The thief cometh not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. This is what their purpose is. And he is not permitted to say mission accomplished if the host have not died. So all the agenda of the spirit, if it is a spirit of lust, is to carry you through the corridors of lust. You will explore different shades of lust until your life is cut off in the midst of your days. In the midst of that lust. So there are lusts for substance. There are lusts for sexual immorality. All kinds of ways the spirit can kill the man. But the end of his assignment is that he killed the man and that is the certification badge it receives that it has done well now the challenge with that scenario was that a spirit was begging jesus allow us to step out of a body and don't let us report to the abbeys give us an alternative house so they say send us have you read that scripture before send us into this head of swine send us so tell your neighbor send us it means you can tell demons their location. You can tell them where to arrive. It's not enough to say, leave this body. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I cast you to the abyss. When those utterances are made, the same power that removes it from the body, that power makes sure he reports in the place they sent it to. The abyss. He says, send us to this one. Unfortunately. Please, if you can hear me, say, Amen. The demons never intended to live in a peak. Never. It was never the plan. All of a sudden, Jesus says, Leave, go. And they entered the peak. Suddenly, pigs developed suicidal, suicidal thoughts. All the pigs developed suicidal thoughts and decided to commit suicide. The first time in history, animal just chose to kill itself. The pigs that have been eating carefully on that land for many years suddenly decided that life ends today it's because demons wanted to kill their host so that they have legal grounds to seek another host in that space because they needed to remain in that territory mind you before jesus came to that space demons went to the sea when jesus ship was coming and they began to trouble the ship on the sea and jesus got up you will know that he was not talking to nature the bible says he rebuked the wind and he calmed the waves the waves that is nature he spoke to it calmly but the wind can i share something with you in the day that the holy ghost entered the earth when he came what was the physical sign that a spirit was on ground a mighty rushing wind in the day that the chariots came to take elijah what did the sons of the prophet saw a whirlwind anytime spirits are moving in this side of the kingdom in this physical world the sign you will use to discern the motions of spirits are winds the bible says he maketh his angels winds and his ministers flames of fire winds so winds went to fight the ship don't come to this place and jesus got up and he rebuked the wind and calmed the waves suddenly it's becoming clear why these spirits will go and kill themselves and they took all the pigs and drowned them knowing fully well that when jesus will start his ministry here as the heart of the people would want to receive him when they remember this loss that they have sustained the the number of sheep rather pigs that died so when the owners of the pigs came and received the report of those who kept the pigs they started begging jesus and said please just leave this land have you read that story before please leave let me ask you a question 
as the demons achieved their aim that they wanted from day one about going to stop him from entering or not let's talk a whole people told their salvation please leave i'm speaking to somebody who is under torment i'm speaking to somebody who the 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 inferno of hell are trying to scatter things in your life because they want you to make an utterance against your salvation i'm speaking to a brother who is almost giving up on life because he thinks that nothing good will come out of himself when demons see the intervention of god approaching they scatter things so that by yourself you will say even before i made this decision about god life was better suddenly all the ships are dead sorry the pigs suddenly the owners are recording loss and for the first time people associated disadvantage to the coming of jesus and they say please just leave our land please leave is there a person in our midst today that satan has successfully convinced you that god is a disadvantage in your life see how everything was going smooth until you started this your holy holy thing when was the last time anybody bought anything for you again you that every of your birthday by now you should know the things you have collected i'm speaking to a lady hear me don't send jesus away don't tell him to leave and jesus knew that a great affront against the invasion of light has been plotted 